Welcome to the NetSuite Employees Upload Training. This is part of the data migration process in a NetSuite implementation. And because we've done so many of these data migrations and we've made lots of mistakes, we want to share it with you so that you can avoid it. So in this session, we're going to review the data migration process. We're going to look at the list that we upload and then dive into the employees list to upload and a demo in NetSuite. So the data migration process has five steps. The first step is to identify the data to be migrated. You're going to prepare the CSV file. You're going to upload data into NetSuite, resolve the issues, and validate the data. And you'll repeat this process until all of your data has been uploaded error-free. Because whenever you have an error, you kind of have to backtrack, fix the error, and then redo the upload, make sure the results have been resolved and revalidate. So here are the types of lists that you would upload into NetSuite as part of an implementation. The foundation of everything is the chart of accounts, which is why we put it first. Then we have the employees list. Then we have the customers list and the vendors list. They're very similar to each other. And then finally, we show you the fixed assets list. And the fixed assets is a completely different animal. There's so many different columns that you have to hit and the sequence is a lot more complex. So let's look at the employees list that we're going to upload. Here are some of the fields that would be included in the upload file and this is only a sample. There's a lot more fields. Imagine and we'll actually show you. Here's an example and again we've only extracted four data fields but there could be a lot more. You have zip codes, you have phone numbers, you have email addresses, you have dates of birth and everything. Now what's interesting here that we want to show you is that in NetSuite certain fields are configured to be mandatory and if that field is mandatory like a subsidiary to make sure that the employee goes to the right org or the right company, then that data has to be populated during the upload process. If you don't put in, in this case, subsidiary, where this employee belongs, you will get an error message that this, this is a mandatory field. And that's sometimes where people get error messages and they don't understand, well, why is it erroring out on me? And we're now going to show you in NetSuite logging in and the upload of employees. For the employee uploads, go to Setup, Import Export, Import CSV Records, Import Type is Employees, Record Type is Employees. Now choose a file name, so this is our employee example. Click Next, choose the Add feature. Click Next. All fields should be mapped correctly because the naming convention between NetSuite and Excel is similar, except for address and work calendar. Now look for employee address, employee address 1, and under that, address 1. Click OK. Now you're going to map address equal to address 1. Click the pencil icon for country and choose United States. Click the pencil icon for subsidiaries and choose internal ID under reference type. Click Next, put in the file name, and click Save. Once you've successfully uploaded, you will see the green box. And again, you can click on the, the hyperlink for import status, and you'll be able to see that your record, oh, one record of three was successfully uploaded. Welcome to the first error. <laughs> and now you actually see what the problems are. So now we can see in real life. <laughs>